124 grain spear gold dot I have in my magazine now. I got about four rounds. Great bullet. It was it was born damn near perfect. It's bonded. It penetrates deep and it expands. But it has one weakness that most lead bullets do, and that's it, it ricochets. And when it ricochets, it becomes even more dangerous. And I'll show you that. So let's see if we're working in a school or somewhere in a hard type facility. And we miss what happens to that bullet. It goes somewhere we don't want it to. So again, four rounds, gold dot, going hot. Well, it's only three rounds, I lied, but come on up. Bonded bullets, they're built to stay together. The lead core is electrochemically bonded to the jacket. So it makes a tougher bullet more robust, so it holds together. Those bullets, when they ricochet, they turn in nice little flat buzz saws. And they stay lethal darn near out to the range that they normally would be in fired anyway. So you can see we've got three nice little buzz saw holes in our cardboard here and a couple pieces of smaller maybe jacket fragment. So if we miss, and I always say we could be shooting at, you know, the worst perpetrator ever, and if we miss and hit something we're not supposed to, we're gonna go from hero to zero, like right now, and probably be involved in some sort of lawsuit. But, back up again. So that was three rounds. We'll do, I mean, I get stuffed in the mag here on short notice. So we saw how the centerfire bullet penetrated and fragmented in soft tissue, but what happens if we miss? Well, I'll show you. Eyes and ears, going hot. So that was maybe 10 rounds or better. Come on up. So yeah, now we've got a bunch of smaller holes. But I can tell you from experience that if you cover this with denim, they typically don't even penetrate that. So instead of a wound that's gonna that's gonna kill you or incapacitate you, now you got a bee sting wound. Which would you rather have? Now a lot of people say, well, those three rounds could have went anywhere, but that spray's kind of all across the bottom. Well, okay, so you're, now you're gonna gamble. I would still rather take one or two of these shots from a center fire bullet sprayed and take my chances with one of these cutting a big hole in me that's most likely going to be incapacitating or lethal or at least make me want to sue the shit out of you. So for hardened environments and where, where it comes in is school resource officers, correctional facilities, you know, home defense and concealed carry, it gives you a little bit of an edge as far as safety on what happens when you miss. We've all seen, you know, the church shooter here in Texas. One of the first places the center fire bullet was approved was in Texas for their school resource officers because they needed a high performance hollow point with a little with a little measure of safety. So that's the the center fire bullet, whether it's loaded by Fiocchi or Winchester or whoever. But Fiocchi's one of the first major companies to pick up our hollow point bullet. So you're gonna see it marketed under the Fiocchi brand name. But what they're selling is everything you've seen demonstrated here is the center fire bullet. What did you say the FPS of it was? The 9 was about 1300 out of this gun. So out of a smaller gun, like a, maybe a Ruger PC9 or something like that, or LC9, probably closer to maybe 12, because you're going to lose velocity because of barrel length. But we, f we function test through all of those guns to make sure that they work. Um, we just have the STI guy out here running all his custom 1911s to make sure that everything runs because he's probably going to start using this ammunition for his demonstrations because they like to shoot a lot of steel, they like to shoot a lot of plate racks, and it's, and it's going to be a lot more efficient and a lot safer for them because they can come to a range, throw up their steel plates, and, and go to town and not have to worry so much about ricocheting. Will it knock over the plate or just splatter the plate stays up? 
No, it has enough. So this plate rack right here. Sorry, no, no, I, bring it on, bring it on. So let's back up again. 